Hello, this is the Atlas Post, and of course today we are talking about, of course, the large public companies that are taking payroll loans meant for small businesses, and this, of course, is the PPP with the CARES Act. Well, let's just put it this way. The CARES Act was originally intended, it's called the Paycheck Protection Program, to provide small businesses with the resources to maintain their payroll, hire back employees who have been laid off, and cover applicable overhead. So we've been talking about this, what, this is what? Um, they were authorizing up to $349 billion towards this job retention and other expenses. But of course, we've been hearing out, this is public knowledge, that some large public companies are actually taking the payroll loans. When Shake Shack decided to return their $10 million, Shake Shack was eligible for $10 million First of all, you're thinking, well, they're a franchise, they've got all these different places, and so they decided to give it back, and I think perhaps they received a little bit of public uh, pressure on that one. But here's the other part to note, is that, um, and part of the reason for all of this furor over this is that this was two weeks after the Paycheck Protection Program was introduced that the government ran out of money. Yes, they have another one coming, but they ran out of it really, really fast. So part of it is the decision to return the check also came, are you ready for this, two days after the company raised $150 million in an equity offering. So $10 million that they need of taxpayer money? Yes. Um, so anyway, good decision to give it back. May have had a little bit of public pressure. Next one is Ruth Chris. Now Ruth Chris, of course, has also been in the news and people are giving it some pressure. I've seen some information on the news about it sounded like they had, had intended to keep it because, of course, they were making decisions for their people involved, the running the business correctly. Well, now there happens to be a petition out on change.org for Ruth Chris Steakhouse or its subsidiaries took $20 million of the SBA loans. This was from the PPP. So there's a petition right now. They've got 239,738 that have already signed it. Yes, on change.org. But they aren't the only ones because besides them, there are other companies that are publicly traded who have also taken the money out. And of course, we are going to go ahead and show this up to you. So the largest one right here, market cap of $405 million, took out $6.7 million. Here's Fiesta Restaurant with $10 million. They have a market cap of $189 million. But I will give you an idea how this rolls out. So several of the companies that receive the aid have market values well in excess of $100 million, including DMC Global, which is $405 million, Wave Life Sciences, $286 million, and Fiesta Restaurant Group of $189 million. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy, huh? So at least 75 companies that have received the aid were publicly traded and received a combined $300 million in low-interest taxpayer-backed loans. And this is according to a separate report from the um, Associated Press. So, of course, you have Howard Schultz from Starbucks, the former Starbucks chairman and CEO, talking about that. And, of course, Starbucks, if you've been following the news, he had, what was it, was it eight weeks he was giving his employees um, eight weeks of pay. So, thank you very much. But as you can see, this is not the first. It's not going to be the last. And here's the new virus aid bill, which includes $251 billion in PPP and $60 billion to small lenders. It's a new one that they are talking about. But we will hear much more coming to this, but go ahead, take a look at these public companies. Wonder, now you know why that money ran out so quickly for small businesses. Thank you for joining us. This is the Atlas Post. We will have more information coming to you. And press the like button to like the video and subscribe because we'll have many more updates coming to you. And thank you for joining us.